Aruba Hills a stage for extensive drone experiment. Armed forces worldwide are increasingly relying on drones. For instance, Dutch Army now has more unmanned aerial systems, UAS, than manned aircraft and helicopters. The development of drones is rapidly advancing. Since March 6, various units have extensively experimented with five different types on Aruba. Today was the last day. The experiment is part of the Swarming Drones program, which aims to have multiple systems autonomously perform missions in the air, with only one person required to give orders and maintain control. Currently, each drone is operated separately. By allowing them to operate independently, they can handle a lot of work on their own. The human factor certainly doesn't disappear, said Captain Ramon de Bruin of the Army, who oversees the entire UAS program. The goal is for the drones to search for enemy targets autonomously, he added, but humans ultimately make the decisions. The drone only shares relevant information with the operator. The major challenge on the hilly terrain of Aruba was to connect the drones with each other. From a command post, a data connection was established over a distance of 35 kilometers with military personnel from the 11th Air Mobile Brigade, who were behind a hill. Their drone acted as a relay for the connection. The unmanned system made contact with the command post's transmitter from a great height and sent the signal back to the operators. Despite good preparation, not everything went as expected. The weather, for instance, was not always cooperative. Some drones couldn't take off in high winds or rain. There were also technical issues at times. However, the advantage was that the manufacturers were present on site and could immediately address the problems. During this phase on Aruba, the focus was mainly on whether the drones used actually did what was promised on paper. They also evaluated which drone is best suited for each task. For example, one drone must fly as far as possible, while the other must be able to carry a specific payload. To save the more expensive drones, the next step may be to add inexpensive versions to the swarm. They can perform tasks where the risk of being disabled is high, said de Bruin. Another option is for them to act as shields for drones with valuable sensors on board. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like and don't forget to subscribe.